Now we're going to talk about how you can set up ticketing, billing, and provisioning in Manage. To set up the integration within Manage, you must first create an API member to authenticate between Acronis and Manage. This can be done from the Manage system, members, API members. Under API members, click the plus, you'll be able to create an API member which will provide you with a client ID and secret. You take that client ID and secret over to the Acronis CyberCloud console, click integration, select the manage integration at the top, and select settings. Within settings, you'll provide the ConnectWise site and company name, your public key and private key. From there, you'll enable product mapping and ticket creation. And then we can talk about how we will provision. But before we can provision, we must set up product mapping. Automatically, Acronis Cyber Cloud will create resources for you within Manage based on which edition you select to authenticate. From here, you click Next, and you have the ability to drop down, select what storage you would like to sell and utilize and effectively bill upon for each one of the licensing editions that we offer, whether it be standard edition for regular workstations or file servers, whether it be advanced edition for your Oracle or your SQL or exchange needs, or whether it be our disaster recovery edition, allowing you to fail over to the Acronis cloud. Every single service that you can offer within the Acronis Cyber Cloud can be tracked and billed via ConnectWise Manage. This can all be done very quickly and efficiently simply by deploying the ConnectWise and Acronis plugin. Once you have decided on your naming schema for your ConnectWise resources, you click Save and you'll be able to go into Manage and start creating agreements for your company. Select LBX, go right into the agreement, and see the cyber protection agreement has been created already. Additions will include every single service that will enable for that customer within the Acronis Cyber Cloud. As simple as clicking plus, typing in Acronis, and searching for the service that you wish to enable for your customer at which point you can set a total quantity, which will set a limit for your customer, or you can leave it set to zero, which will leave you as unlimited. You can set a unit price right here. You can set a unit cost. You can set an effective date as well as a canceled date. Now, leaving an effective date without a canceled date will leave everything as unlimited and will allow you to do a pay-as-you-go model. If you're looking to provide a prepaid upfront, you can always set an effective date with a cancellation date and a total cost for each month, at which point your billing will be taken care of. Going back over to the Acronis Cyber Cloud, you'll see under provisioning, there's a couple of options when it comes to creating an Acronis customer. Now, whether you are creating a new Acronis customer from a managed customer or company, or if you're mapping a managed customer to an existing Acronis company. What you have the option to do is come in here, create new customers via the company primary contact information or company name provided via manage, as well as how you want the activation to be sent. By default, we send an activation email with a registration token that's valid for 24 hours. If you don't want this to be sent to your client, you can define this manually and then change it later on. From here, you can also set customer deprovisioning options, whether you want to set offering items to zero when you're deprovisioning, if you want the customer to be disabled, or if you want the customer data to be delete. From here, we can set how we want to handle offloading or offboarding customers who are no longer with us. Company mapping will in fact allow us to go through, view all of the managed customers or companies, select, and then map to a new customer tenant or map to an existing company. As I said, you can drill through the existing customers that you already have within Acronis and assign them to an existing customer tenant. Therefore, saying, all right, all the information that I have within Manage is now mapped to the information that's being pulled from Acronis. 
and all the usage for my customers three workstations or four workstations will be sent on over to the manage console it will be parsed and will be delivered into my billing system so that I can then effectively bill my customers correctly. On top of that, ticketing can be enabled. For ticket creation, you just select which ConnectWise board you'd like to utilize, Pro Services, Manage Services, and enable which alerts you would like to have created on the ConnectWise board. The tickets that are created within the ConnectWise board, when they're closed, can auto-close the Acronis case as well, so that you don't have to worry about double closure of cases or tickets, or not tickets, uh, alert in, if you will. And that's how you would create your manage agreements, how you would utilize the Acronis resources to effectively create new customers within Acronis easily, effectively, efficiently through manage, as well as bill and ticket everything through one console.